Okay, now once I get them all taped down and stuck to the uh, packaging tape, rather, this is what I end up with. Okay, and uh, these are the tops that I'm going to use here. And uh, you'll notice the piezo is not in there. That uh, piezo I was using in putting these together is uh, just a, I call it my uh, um, roughing in piezo, basically. Uh, it's These are pretty delicate. The wires inside are very, very uh, delicate. And they can't take a lot of rough and tumble abuse, so I just cut one down to size. It's for mocking up. My mock-up piezo, that's what I meant. Um, I cut it down to the size that I, I, I like for a three-string. And uh, that's the one I use for all my mocking up. So I'm tearing this one up and not the other nine that I got in the package. So now uh, what I'll do is I'll finally use some glue. And I'll show you on this one here. I'll just basically put glue all the way around. Spread it nice, even layer. And then uh, spread some glue on the inside of this piece here. Then put that on top of here. Clamp them up. And what I do is I'll clamp it to this piece, solid three-quarter inch piece of mahogany. Um, I didn't choose mahogany for any special reason, just that this is a nice thick piece. And what I mean by this is I'll put this base right here, glued up and ready to go. I'll put this on top of it, and then I'll uh, clamp it up like this. So I have a nice flat surface underneath, uh, on the, under the bottom, and then clamp this down on top like so. And uh, I'll go ahead and get that done on all three of these and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, this is what I was talking about. I clamp it like so. That keeps everything nice and flat. All right, And that'll sit and cure overnight. So, making them up this way um, works out really well. I mean, uh, you'll notice n none of the edges are uh, square. None of the, uh, you know, it, it was just kind of haphazardly thrown in there. And that's fine. Because uh, once these pieces have cured, and I've got my final uh, piezo bridge base, I'll put them on the belt sander and sand everything nice and flush and then I'll shape it to whatever shape I'm going to do. So all that will be taken care of after this is done. Uh, and um, it works out real well. So back in just a minute. Okay and here they are all three of them glued up and they're going to sit there and cure overnight. Now uh, I've got here a mahogany base that I did quite a while ago part of another this is just a blank that's ready and raring to go I've trimmed this one down and shaped it nice and rectangular as you can see the edges are burnt bigger than heck but this is ready for uh, further shaping and sanding and uh, ready and raring to go it is the top is routed for a uh, a bone saddle and uh, the bottom the piezo slips right in here Using my mock-up piezo, you can see, just slips right in. That will sit up against the uh, uh, the bottom of the box. Then flip the whole thing over. The saddle will slip down into this slot, and uh, string pressure will push down on the saddle onto the piezo itself, and that will give uh, enough pressure for the piezo to sound real, real nice. So. Another thing that I use uh, in making my rod piezo bridge is one of these. This is called a paper folder. It's made out of cow bone. They run, yeah, this is this one's five and a half inches long. They run about eh, five, six bucks. Uh, you can get them all the way up to 12 inches long. They are about seven eighths of an inch wide. And this edge, the outside edges, here are already shaped and rounded over. You can see I've got lines drawn on it. 
I can slice this on the bandsaw, then rip right down the center, and I can get four saddles out of that. So that when you cut it here and then rip it, that'll slide right down in the ba into this slot here on the saddle. That, or on the uh, bridge rather, this is my saddle. I can get four saddles out of this, and uh, it was, like I said, right around five bucks. You go down and you buy a saddle blank at the music store, they're five bucks a piece, and you might, if you're lucky, be able to get two of them out of a saddle blank. Um, but generally, you're going to get one. So, real cheap, easy way to go um, if you don't have a butcher shop uh, that uh, you can get some uh, cow bone from and make your own uh, saddle blanks. You know, uh, so it's a bone paper folder. And um, that's it for right now. When I get uh, these bridges, I get ready for the next step, I'll go ahead and do another video showing uh, how I clean them up on my belt sander and how I route that slot in there on the top for the, uh, for the saddle. And uh, how I shape them up. Um, I'll go ahead and shape one of these just for giggles. Alright, hope this helped you. And if it did, throw a fella a like or two, okay? Thanks very much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.